I'm Ms. Mon Mon. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a throwback sewing video. Back in October I was still madly sewing lots of outfits and of course for Halloween I wanted to sew something special. I decided to make some Halloween vintage pajamas but it ended up becoming an absolutely crazy month. My life literally got turned upside down and I didn't have enough time to create a video to the point where I don't even remember filming the process, but alas, I have all the footage. I have already posted up photos of this sewing adventure up on my blog, but I thought maybe people enjoy watching the sewing process more as a video as opposed to static images. So after asking you guys on Instagram, it was voted that it should just be released as a video regardless that it's not even Halloween anymore. So here we are. Last year I was going through and experimenting with new patterns and new styles of sewing, all of which became blog posts. So if you'd like to see that, please go to my blog. The link is in the description. But by the time it was time for Halloween, I wanted to sew something a little bit different. And I decided to sew some vintage pajamas as it's something that I've never made before. I ended up finding this sewing pattern. This is Vogue 5725 and it came out, I think in the sixties. It features a cute and simple night dress with some cute shorts as well. The dress itself comes in a few lengths. I opted for the little short one because it's not something I normally do. With my pattern selected, it is now time to look at fabric. I was very lucky to buy this fabric right before fabric.com vanished. I think the designer for this one was Riley Blake and it is part of a collection that had tiny little woodland vibes to it and I chose the cream one with tiny little pumpkins and the orange one also with tiny little pumpkins to match. I wanted to do a little bit of a mix and match in the pattern so I'm going to turn the cream into my nighty with the orange collar accent and then the orange will also be turned into the shorts. I am so excited to share this process with you. So I guess it's over to VoiceOver Mon Mon to show you how it all came together. Hey guys, it's VoiceOver Mon Mon. Alrighty, let's get started with sewing up Vogue 5725. I began with cutting out my pieces. And of course, because of the contrast, I cut some pieces out in the orange pumpkins and others in the cream. I was a little bit daunted with this pattern because I've never made pajamas before, but this is a pattern that anyone could do because it was so simple. Once I had my collar pieces cut out, I attached the front and back together at the sides and did this twice over as the collar will be folded over itself. The only challenge that this pattern poses to beginners is that you will be sewing a fair few amount of curves, but honestly, they're not really that sharp, so you should be good if you are learning. Once your curve is sewn down, don't forget to clip your corners. So when you fold your fabric right side up like this, it is really nice and crisp. Of course, I also ironed it down just to make sure it was perfect and flat. And take your time with this because this will be right at the front of your pajama set. With the main part of the nighty, all I had to do was sew the sides together as it's basically almost like a pillowcase kind of shape. It's just a big sack. To secure the armholes, I used some bias binding, which I sewed down and across before flipping it over and sewing it down behind the seams. This gave the armholes some structure and security because you don't want them to fray. With that done, all I had to do was sew two rows of wide stitches. So I just put my sewing machine into the widest stitch it does, which is four. And with those two rows, you can then gather by pushing a fabric along the thread. Really take a time with these gathers as they will be quite prominent. So very slowly gather them up, pin them to the inside of your collar and then sew them down. This was probably the most intense bit of sewing. So 
you can really do it if you want to make pyjamas. With that attach, all I had to do was bend the collar over and very slowly pin the facing down. This was then top stitched, so make sure you have a thread color that you don't mind seeing. You can of course use an invisible stitch or hand sew this down, but I kind of don't mind having a cute contrasting stitch. The last thing I needed to do on the nighty top was to hem the bottom and this is what we have. This part only took me a couple of hours and I was surprised by how quickly it came together. I mean, it's not really that intense. So I moved on to the shorts. I began by adding my darts to the shorts before sewing up the sides. And if you've ever made shorts before, sometimes you can get confused around the crotch bit. So I did make a mistake and sew the crotch to my leg seam. So after I'm picking that, I fix it all up. And before I knew it, it was time to hem my shorts and she was done. And that is how I made my 1960s pyjama set inspired by Halloween. This was a really simple pattern and I do see myself going back and making it again. There are a few changes I would make however, one of which is I would make the armholes a little bit bigger as it sometimes felt like it was cutting into my armpits. So that might just be a bust sizing issue. So I'll keep that in mind for next time. And the other thing that didn't work out for me were kind of the shorts. The press studs that I used weren't strong enough. If I breathed in too much, they would pop open. One of them is really dodgy from the start. So I actually had to safety pin for photos and some of this footage. I would love to go up a size or two in the shorts, so I will do that next time. Regardless, this is a really cute set. I love the photos I took for these last year and I'm hoping that this footage makes up for it. I love this project. I will definitely be remaking this one and I'm not sure whether that would be another video because I don't want to keep doing the same pattern repeatedly on the channel but I will definitely be turning into a blog, so please keep an eye out on that and I will let you know when that is up on my socials. Thank you so much for joining me for a vintage sewing adventure. I know it is not Halloween, but I mean, the spooky season can live inside us for the whole year. Thank you so much for joining me on another vintage sewing adventure. I am really excited to start creating more sewing videos and I'm trying to see what formula works best. I am sorry that this video never came out last October, but alas, it is up now. So I hope you still love it. Please feel free to like, comment and subscribe and become a part of my little family here on YouTube. And you can find me on any social media. I will be back next week with a brand new video. But until then, be kind, be true, be you and have an absolutely wonderful week. Bye.